Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Stock My Closet. To make salwar, I've taken this plain silk fabric. This is 2.5 meters of fabric. And this is a measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I'll cut the front panels. And for that, I have cut out the required length. In my measurement, salwar length is 38 inch. I'll deduct 6 inch for belt. So 38 minus 6 is 32. So length of this So this is 32 inch and I have folded the fabric twice in width so I have four layers now from the on full side I will cut out the belt so I have deducted 6 inch for belt from the length and I'll add 2.5 inch for seam allowance. So I'll mark a point at 8.5 inch. Join these points. And now I'll cut it out. So this is belt and this is front panel. This is double layer. One for each leg. Just keep in mind it should be on full from the center. This is 6.5 inch. And just keep it aside. Now I'll cut the required width of belt. It is your choice. You can take around 5 to 6 inch more than your hip measurement. I'll keep it 23 inch including 1 inch for seam allowance. So this is the belt. Now I'll cut the back panels. Now for back panel, I have folded the fabric by half in width. So I have two layers of fabric. If you are making patiala salwar, you will need whole width of fabric as back panel. Here I have folded it by half. On this side, I'll mark the length. That is 32 inch. And on this side, I'll mark the crotch. So exclude 6 inch for belt and mark a point at 14 inch. On this side, Front panel was 6.5 inch and poncha is 7.5 inch. I'll add around 1.5 inch for seam allowance. So just keep the measuring tape like this 6.5 inch for front panel and mark a point at 9 inch. So this is for poncha. Now I'll join these points. So this is back panel. Now I'll cut it. So I've cut it. Now this is for one side. So I've cut the back panel. Now I'll flip it on this side. So I've placed the back panel, now I'll cut it. So I've cut the back panel. We have four pieces, two for each leg. A 
and when this cutting of silver is complete now I'll stitch it firstly I'll stitch the crotch Similarly, I'll stitch the other crotch. Now I'll attach front and back panel. Now I'll overlock it. So I have attached front and back panel. Now I will attach other back panel on this side. Just place the back panel right sides together and make a stitch. So I have attached front and back panels. Now I will finish the belt. So I have two layers. Firstly, I'll stitch both sides and on one side, I'll make around one inch of casing. Overlock it. Just fold and make a triangle like this. This is for casing and continue stitch from here Once you made a stitch, this is how it will look. Now I'll fold and stitch the casing. So I've attached back and front panels and this is how it looks. Now I'll attach the belt. Mark ducks on the both corners of the belt. So this will be the front half and this will be the back half. To attach the salwar with the belt, I'll add pleats on the salwar according to the belt width. While adding pleats, just keep in mind, keep the direction of pleat towards the crotch. On the back, I'll add two pleats, one on each side of crotch.
So I have pinned up the pleats on the back side. Now I'll attach the belt. And I'll make front pleats while stitching. If you want, you can pin it up. Place the belt on the salwar, right sides together. Match the back center with the back crotch. And I'll start stitching from the tuck I have marked on the belt. And I'll stitch it till the other tuck. So I've stitched the back part. Now I'll start stitching front and I'll add pleats. So both centers are matching. Now similarly I'll add pleats on this side. So I've attached the belt with the salvage. Now I'll overlock it. So I've overlocked it. Now keep the seam allowance direction upwards and make a top stitch. So I have attached belt with the salwar. Now pleat size is also your choice. If you want small pleats, you can make it accordingly. So I have attached the belt with the salwar. Now I will make the poncha. And for that I have cut out the piece of same fabric. And I have also cut out the buckram. I have taken 1.5 inch of width. Just place the buckram on the fabric and make the wasting stitch. Now fold the fabric over the buckram and again make a stitch. So I made a stitch, now trim this excess fabric, so I have trimmed the fabric, now fold it by half, I 
and cut it into two pieces. Now I'll attach it with the silver. Place the poncho on the silver right sides together and make a stitch along the buckram. So I've attached it. Now turn it towards the wrong side like this. And now you can make any poncho design you want. So I made straight lines. Now I'll just make curved lines in between. I'm just keeping it simple. So I made the poncho. Now similarly I'll make it on the other side. So I've stitched poncho on both sides. Now lastly I'll stitch the center seam. In my measurement poncho around is 7 inch. match the crotch And with this my salwar is ready and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.